And this is Hunter. And we are doing a video on what we've done to winterize our trailer. We are? Yes. We are. <laughs> We're filming a few videos today, so if we seem disorientated, oh, I'm confused, that's why. And I also really hurt my knee. So if I'm She's making... confused and disoriented because she's got a lot on the go. I'm confused and disoriented because that's kind of just how I live my life. Come on. Oh, look, Hunter's coming to say hi or fall down the stairs. Cause... Come on. Oh. You want to help? Yeah. <laughs> hi, Bubba. This film the video so most of what we've done to winterize the trailer is get a dog <laughs> but for real though i think okay so we live in a, in canada yes in alberta yes which is also known as alberia, alberia yes for good reason yes so so far it's been a pretty mild winter like right now we're sitting at minus two celsius like it's pretty freaking nice out yeah. the last i say week and a half it's been like maybe minus 10 mm -hmm. a couple of weeks ago it dropped down to like minus 26 which is more typical of an alberta winter this is apparently supposed to be our coldest winter in a very long time according to the what farmer's almanac yeah almanac? farmer's almanac almanac or whatever it is it's supposed to go down to like minus 45 celsius or something in february so <laughs> Fingers, Good times. fingers crossed we survive that but it has been really cold we've seen temperatures steadily around minus 18 to minus 20 for a few weeks it's warm right now but it has mm -hmm. been quite cold and so far this trailer has been perfect i've hardly ever had to run the furnace in here which has been great we're currently using like a little 40 dollar electric heater from canadian yeah. tire i'll put a link down to it down below we had a bigger more expensive one that was supposed to do better but it didn't kick out as much heat and also it broke i don't know if you can see it but this fan down here yeah we bought from canadian tire for like it was like a hundred dollars or something yeah, it wasn't stupid. cheap it crapped out in a week yeah we've had that for like two years yeah it's been going for a while it's been going for a long it's a trooper time, for sure so what have we done to winterize the trailer um i did a really bad job skirting underneath the trailer we skirt it with plywood. I'll, yeah. I'll insert a clip of that. I'll go out around the trailer and show you guys everything. But Cody cut out plywood and screwed it all together. He even left like a little like access, access door. door for us to empty the tanks and everything. I think he did a really good job. He's not happy with it. No. Next year I'm going to do way better. It's going to be cool. You'll see. So that's definitely helped. And we've got a little heater underneath there. We had wanted to insulate it, but we haven't gotten around to that yet. Yeah. Um, we were actually going to do it yesterday because the weather was pretty good. Um, we got some insulation from one of the neighbors that was throwing it out, so she gave us a whole bag. Um, and it turned out that, I don't know, there were some bugs and stuff in there that I don't know that they were bad bugs, but also I don't want to introduce them into the ecosystem of the trailer just in case because bad bugs suck. Yeah. What are you doing, Hunter? You're messing up his mojo. Pick All of the spots are nice. just... Good. He's very uncomfortable. <laughs> We're in his spot. Normally yeah. he's napping here. This is his nap spot, and his other nap spot is holding all the stuff that's usually in this general vicinity. <laughs> it's a little confused. He's, he's upset. So yeah, so we have a heater under there, and even without the insulation or anything, it has prevented our tanks from freezing, which mm -hmm. is great. We're at a park with full hic hookups. Hiccups? A park with full hookups. There's so probably hiccups here, too. But we keep our gate valves shut all the time on our mm -hmm. gray and black water tanks, and Cody and I will just go out there and empty them whenever they're getting full. Yeah. Because we don't want to risk it freezing in the sewer hose, because that would be. Yeah, you know, a mess. if you get just like a slow trickle going through, it'll freeze and then pile up and freeze and pile up and freeze and pile up, and then next thing you know, this flimsy hose is just frozen solid. And yeah. I don't want to have to deal with that because poop goes in there. But our tanks have not froze. Yes. So that's the winner. The other thing we did is we went and got. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a heat trace for our lines, our, our water lines, because we have a direct hookup to our water. Yes. We could have just filled the fresh water tank, but I felt like then I had to worry about that freezing and running out and having yeah. to refill it. So we just. Or going stagnant if we don't need it for an extended period of time. Yeah, yeah, and then mold growing in there. So we just, we wanted to have steady running water all the time. Mm -hmm. So we are hooked up to the park water. So what Cody did is he took, a, well, we bought a heated hose which was like $250 or something. Yeah. It was expensive, but I do highly recommend it because mm -hmm. it's been awesome. So the only place then that we're freezing, hold on, I have to let my dog look aside. Yeah, he's, he's having a meltdown. Um, but yeah, the only places we were freezing after that was um, the, the heat tape that the park actually had running into the ground was, uh, it, it was no longer working. So we basically just tore, their out, tore theirs out and replaced it with our own. Um, it was kind of a pain in the butt, but so far it seems to be working. Um, when I reached my hand down there initially, it was pretty warm once you got below ground level, so I just took some of the old insulation and heat taped it as best I could and then created like a plug 
with the insulation to keep the heat down there. So and we hopefully do, that works. We do actually have a video on it as well. It's not like super instructive or anything, but you can kind of see what we've Mostly done. Mostly what you see is me swearing. Yeah, so I'll <laughs> link that somewhere. Over, over yonder. I yeah. feel like it's going to be in this general vicinity. Yeah, it'll be somewhere. I'll link it somewhere for you guys. But yeah, so there's a video about that. So that made a big difference. Our water has not froze up at all since we fixed it even when it was like minus 26 outside yep. so that is awesome i think we'll be okay all winter yeah the other things that we did is we bought new blinds that was actually the first thing we did yeah. and we specifically bought ones that create a bit of an air gap um mm -hmm. so they're blackout curtains and they give you a bit of an air gap to help with insulation those are not those alone would not be enough maybe if you were in like a cool climate like mm -hmm. you know bc or yeah northern like the northern states or something it would be fine but well, we southern states so more. Well, so southern yeah northern states gets pretty canada-ish in the winter yeah so i mean they're great blinds we love them they're just easy pull up pull down um they stop wherever you want them to stop yeah and, um so they've been good but then we had to go a step further and we got the plastic to go around mm -hmm. the windows which for the most part has been good we still get condensation uh, build up on them which is a bit of a pain in the butt yeah the the windows aren't actually sealed to outside very well and I didn't realize that until it was way too late to seal it properly so that's definitely gonna be a next year project in the summer but I will say that it definitely helps the trailer hold heat more because mm -hmm. previously when I'd sit next to the window because I have kind of like my office area in the dinette and I'll do a separate video on that about how I've done my office setup and everything but I'd, I'd, I'd be sitting there and you could feel the cold air coming through the window and through the wall and it would just get so chilly. Whereas now with the plastic over it, um, it holds the heat a lot better. And like right now we have our roof vent open mm -hmm. um, and we only have the little heater going and it's probably 21 or 22 degrees Celsius in here. Yeah, something like that. Um, and it's always really warm in here. Now that we have the plastic on the windows, I did notice before that it would it would drop down to around 18 or 19 celsius so it's made a couple degrees difference and mm -hmm. it's, it doesn't feel as drafty not that they were before but you could feel the cold air coming through and i think a big thing that's going to help too is when i seal up the skirting a little better because there are some pretty significant gaps so hopefully um this day's off i'll scare up the oomph to go around and seal it a little better and then once that heat stays under it'll hopefully warm the floor a little bit and that'll help a lot because you know walking on a cold floor it doesn't matter how uh, how warm the room is if the floor is cold your feet are cold and then you're just mm -hmm. miserable speaking of cold feet another thing i bought which wasn't really winterizing the trailer but it made my life it a little easier her. is i got like a hot water bottle from mark's warehouse mark's work warehouse work warehouse didn't they change their name though isn't it yeah just i guess they're just marks now um but anyways i got a hot bottle from them so before i went to bed at night i don't use it now because holy smokes you wake up in the morning and it's like a bajillion degrees in here i swear yeah. it's way too hot she, she doesn't plan ahead so well so when it's cool in the <laughs> evening she's like i'm gonna crank the heat yeah and then, and then I, at like two in the morning she's like babe it's hot go turn the heater down yeah it was really hot this morning <laughs> um but like when it was minus 26 and we had that really cold snap for about a week there i'd fill up the water bottle i'd boil some water in the electric kettle before i went to bed pour it in there tuck it right underneath the sheets here where my feet go a few minutes before I go to bed and then I'd curl up in bed and it would be all warm and cozy. <laughs> yeah. I like to be warm, so. She does. So that was a big help. I'm sure an electric blanket or a heating pad would also be awesome, but I kind of like that it stays warm all night and I don't have to worry about consuming electricity. Mm -hmm. And I think that's about it that we did to winterize the... Um, so, and we got this bad boy. Vent covers. Three of them. Vent covers. They just pop right up in there, keep stuff warm. So when we want to open a vent, we just pull it out and, you know, crank it open. Because you do still want to have some airflow yeah. in here. And unfortunately, with all the plastic over the windows, you can't open any of our windows now. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest downside to it. Because when it is a nice day out like today, I'd like to be able to crack a window. So whatever. Sometimes I'll just leave the screen door open, but then it gets cold really fast. But these are great. When it's really cold, these make a difference for mm -hmm. keeping the heat in. Because even with the vents closed, you still lose a little bit of heat. Yeah, because it's just flimsy little plastic, right? Yeah. And I think that's about it that we've done, really, to, to winterize it. winterizing, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what we've done to survive an Alberta winter. Actually, the other thing we might do is hang up um, kind of a thicker blanket by the door, just because it doesn't seal very well. It's it's kind of, it's an older trailer. Things are kind of warpy. It doesn't, the, the door doesn't seat in the frame very well anymore. Mm -hmm. And I put some... Um, weather stripping? Weather stripping around it, and that helped a little bit mm -hmm. until it froze, and then it just got ripped to... To shreds basically when uh, we were opening and closing the door when it was frozen shut so we might uh, put some anchors in the wall and hang a blanket there just to 
create an extra barrier at night mm -hmm. um, to keep the cold penetration from happening. Mm -hmm. But for right now, it's fine. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's all. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And I guess we will chat with you guys in the next video. Yeah. Bye. See ya.